All right, hey, you ready for this? I'm kind of excited about this. This is, um, I don't even know what to call this. This is the my best of 2012, and we're starting it off today. Okay, look over on the screen where my, my head will be small somewhere, and I'll keep on talking. But you're going to look at pictures, and um, yeah, I did this for 2011, my best of travel, 2011. So this means no portraits, no weddings, no... Um, festivals like the Festival of Colors and no temple temple pictures. They're all kind of separate categories. This is just going to be my travel and this is 2012. I went from 50,000 pictures down to 900 and then I got it down to uh, even lower to 400 and I've divided it into five different categories and this one I actually don't exactly know what to call it. We kind of got a west coast we got Bolivia, Europe, Japan and this is like, I wanted to call this Utah or the Southwest, but there was a few pictures that I decided to throw in there that were from like uh, Alberta and, um, you know, even, and then there was a couple that I had from Texas. So I'm going to call this East of West the U and Utah. Prime. I don't know what to call it. If you help me figure out what to call this category after looking through these pictures. We're going to go through them one by one and stay tuned for the next uh, several days, not the weekend because I'll be out of town. Um, you will see a bunch more pictures and, and the different categories. So uh, a couple this week and then we'll uh, continue on next week with the with this kind of preliminary semi-final categorization and let's look at pictures, okay? <clears throat> Alright, so um, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of these pictures so that you can go on to um, my Facebook fan page or the business page there and then you can uh, like the ones and this is the first each time I post these pictures well, for the preliminary, it'll all be the same, but in the next, when they all get grouped together, so we're 400, then we're going to try to get down to a much significantly smaller number, more than half uh, gone. And uh, when we do that, then we'll be asking different questions, um, and, and that will help determine which pictures go on to the next round. And so for this first round, I just want you to think, and like those pictures, <clears throat> that... Um, you feel should make the f the final cut. And I, I don't know if it's final. It's kind of like the the top, the best of cut. I'll word it a little bit better, maybe in the in the written thing on the pages. And this will be on the Facebook fa our business page and the Google Plus business page. Later on, I may move them to my actual profile since they get a lot more traffic but for now I didn't want to overwhelm too many people with each day just those that want to come in and help rate and cull these down to our top pictures okay so I'm just giving you a preliminary and I'll go through it and kind of tell you a little bit about the pictures to make this a little bit more worth your while uh, the links will be in the descriptions of this YouTube video if you want to go and find these particular albums uh, go ahead and like and plus one the respective Facebook pages and so that you are notified when uh, the next set is up and obviously continue I will continue to put these up on YouTube as well again this is the best of 2012 as far as I could see I am uh, putting up a few because this is what happens when you um, I may have my particular favorites, but I may have overlooked, and I learn from other people, and I learn from the reaction of the crowd. I, I put my own spin on my own photography. It's not like I'm duplicating other uh, people's styles. This is me. This is what I do, and obviously I, I took the pictures for a reason. I liked them, um, but follow along on this process because then you can understand, like I am doing this as an educational method for me, to understand what people are really attracted to, what really, you know, what kind of, what aesthetically gets them excited, okay? And if you notice, there are some color and black and white, so I'm really depending on you guys to help me. Um, <clears throat> if I put a color and a black and white, it's because I liked them both. So, 
uh, I, I'm, I'm really struggling to figure out which one I would like better. Okay, so this is last year. I started off in uh, Grand Canyon. I did a couple of pictures there. This is Antelope Canyon in uh, Arizona, near Page, Arizona. Bryce Canyon. Um, I believe this is... Uh, I don't even really remember where this is. It's a... This is probably Antelope Canyon again. Yep, I'm pretty sure of it. This is uh, Sedona, Arizona. I believe this is Mesa. This is Death Valley. So I have another uh, selection coming up that will be called the West Coast, and I didn't really consider, even though, um, you know, Death Valley is in California, I didn't really consider it that. I considered it more along the lines of the desert stuff that I was doing in, in this category. Uh, again, with Death Valley and Mono Lake in California. Again, Mono Lake. So there may be a couple of similar type things, and we may keep them both because they're stylistically so different. But then there comes the things like this, which is Cathedral Valley and Capitol Reef, where I have uh, three images of the same rock formation, and I may just keep one, unless they're very popular. And so, uh, you know, I'm... I am taking into consideration, but it's not a pure popularity test. It's not just about how many likes, because, um, yeah, this is not. And then this is another section of Capitol Reef, which there's three from the same area on the same day. Obviously a pretty good day. And then another awesome morning in Capitol Reef again, where uh, one of the best sunrises of my life, and this is, I actually toned down the saturation on this image. Um, and so here's a few minutes later with uh, both the Temple of the Moon and the Sun. So just uh, keep an eye out for which ones you think should really uh, make it into the best of. And, um, and, and, and then we will, then I'll take all five of these categories together. Uh, the Japan, Bolivia, Europe, uh, West and East of West and uh, we'll figure out the top 100 to 200 and I will have a spreadsheet going like much like I did for the 2011 um, and by the way this was taken at uh, the Festival of Colors photo walk that I put up and the day before I organized non Festival of Color type things and that's coming up again so we may go to the same place uh, in Utah uh, on a trip to one of my favorite locations in Lincoln Beach at the Utah Lake. Um, so like, yeah, there are a few that are like Texas here. Again with Texas, so I couldn't just call it Mountain West or the Southwest. Because I also had mm, Calgary, which is not south at all. It's very much north. Bryce Canyon, again, for a, another trip. And then I went to the wave, and this is a formation near the wave, and this is the wave on the Arizona-Utah border. And these are some popular pictures that you may have seen before. And I put up three just to see what reactions we're going to get. And I am very interested in knowing because I have strong um, emotional connections, but we're not learning uh, I'm not doing this to know which pictures I have the most emotional connection to because that's that's fine. I can do that separately and I can tell people stories about that. And I do stories about that photo stories on my YouTube channel. More of them will be coming up soon. And um, But this is to kind of get an idea of people's aesthetic, people's aesthetics, you know, what they, how they feel about different pictures. And then fall came, so you're going to see a series of fall pictures. Uh, I did a lot in the Nebo Loop, um, but there were some others in other canyons around here. And again, Nebo, Nebo, Loop. So I, I'm actually seeing a lot of them. Most of them are the Nebo Loop. A lot of them. Fall is a lot of fun. So this is going to be one of your first uh, black and white decisions, color or black and white. Um, I'm interested to see what people think of those. And I, you will see a lot of star pictures. I, this was kind of, 2012 was a year of stars for me. I started adding 
a lot of stars into my pictures and then going on uh, a lot more trips to the Moab or southern Utah region quite a few trips this uh, last year four or five or six I can't even remember so um, some more stars uh, three of the same arch so definitely interested in seeing what people think I, I have strong opinions I think some will not perform well and some will perform very well but I am definitely looking out for those kind of like out of left field things like I put them up there just in case and they go like people just respond to them very well uh, St. George area and then this was my trip up to Canada here we go another black and white and you can like both of them if you think uh, we're just talking about in general of these 90 images or so which ones do you think deserve to make it to the next level and maybe we should cap you out at like uh, 20 or 30 images is all you should really like okay um, and these may be more, you know, don't think that, I mean, Europe or Bolivia, which do you have stronger connections to? If you want to see more Utah ones make it in, you know, be a little more active on this. And Yeah, I'm always okay if you want to share this album too and have people join in the fun. This is the first day. It'd be fun if they can join uh, for the whole two, three week process, uh, getting it down from, you know, I got, I took it from five fifty thousand, and, um, we can get it. I got it down to 900, then 400, and then um, let's see if we can get it down to one to two, somewhere between one and 200, and then we'll continue that strong, harder, difficult, uh, getting it down to the, like eventually the top 10, and figuring out which was the favorite image um, from 2012. We're still on this trip to uh, Canada, and then we're back in Utah and one once again another trip to uh, Moab area lighting up stuff my epic night series I thought I'd throw in a building just in case see what the response there is and the only picture I took this day and this epic uh, sunset and then uh, the beginning of my trip to the north or to the north and uh, if I, there are other images um, that I accidentally forgot please excuse me I will uh, go through them they won't be on this YouTube video but they will be in the gallery so take a look there I think there are a couple I may have forgotten to add in there uh, but peace out yo that's it for today and stay tuned for tomorrow where I believe I will be doing the Northwest or the West Coast pictures. And then next week you'll see Bolivia and Europe and Japan. Okay, that's me. And this is today's video. Go and find, it. when this releases, you will be able to find the pictures to start liking and sharing with others so that they can join in this two, three week experience. Hopefully it's very educational and it's not meant to tell you this is exactly how you're supposed to take pictures. It's meant to tell. It's meant to show you, um, you know, to follow along and get an idea of what other people think of other pictures, and then you go out and take your own style of pictures. All right, peace out.